Welcome to the Gibbscam video. This short little video is how to bring in parts from SOLIDWORKS into Gibbscam using the Gibbscam transfer button in SOLIDWORKS and then to make some changes and then uh, have it update Gibbs automatically. So here we have our part in SOLIDWORKS and in order to use the Gibbscam transfer make sure you turn it on in SOLIDWORKS uh, beforehand. So you click on this arrow down, go to add-ins, you should see at the bottom of the SOLIDWORKS file, the Gibbs Cam add-in button. Make sure you check this button. Then it should appear right up there, Gibbs Cam add-ins, transfer to Gibbs. So if we want to transfer this into Gibbs, I already have my Gibbs Cam open here. Uh, we're starting on a three-axis vertical mill. So I'm going to go back to SOLIDWORKS. And I'm going to click on this button here, Tools, Gibbscam Add-in, Transfer to Gibbscam. So if we go over to our Gibbscam now, you're going to see it's transferred the part into Gibbscam. And when you do that, the attributes are there already for the different features. The features will come in on here. And just go up to Features and Feature Manager. And here is all the features that came in from SOLIDWORKS. If you click on them, you can see the different parts. And the ones that are colored, of course, are the same colors uh, in SOLIDWORKS. So you can see there's the left pockets, right pockets, and center pockets. So what we want to do is machine all these pockets out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my tools and cam palette. And I'm going to open up a process that I already created here, just so you can kind of see how they are. Let's close that. I'm going to load the process. And I'm going to go to first a quarter inch uh, rough end mill. And you want to make sure if you're going to do feature recognition, uh, usually you want to have it on automatic. And to do that, just go to mill feature and you can set this to automatic on the feature depth there. And then you usually want to choose depth from the feature there. Of course, you can put in your feeds and speeds as you normally would and if you want to leave stock and, and uh, everything like that. So what I'm going to do is highlight the left pocket, right pocket, and center pockets. I'm going to click on Do It. And you can see it says the 2D body has succeeded. So you should get nice G2s, G3s on this part there. Now if we wanted to uh, also finish, say, the outside here, we're just going to do that... Uh, uh, standard way. We're just going to bring in a three-quarter inch rough process here. And I'm just going to click on the slice plane, drag it down through there, click on that, click on do it. And there's our roughing for the outside. And the last process here, three-quarter inch finish. And again, we're going to just click on the outside here, click on do it. If we go to cut part render, quick little render here, you can see it cuts out all the pockets and the outside. Now when we go back to SOLIDWORKS, I want to make a change because maybe you have a family of parts and have uh, some of these pockets that are maybe deeper. So we'll go back to SOLIDWORKS and these pockets right here, let's find the pockets here. These should be the center pockets here. If I highlight those and make a change in SOLIDWORKS, change these down to half inch. Update my SOLIDWORKS. You can see they're half inch deep now. So let's transfer this back over to Gibbs. So Tools, Gibbs Cam Add-in, Transfer. Go to my Gibbs. And it's going to ask me, do I want to create a new part, insert it into what we're working on already, or replace it? Well, I want to do a replacement because we're just working on the same part. Turn off my rendering. You can see now I have the updated part with the half inch deep pockets there. I'll turn the grid off there to make it a little easier to see. So I'm going to go back to my first operation, which is the one that did the uh, quarter inch deep pockets. And they're highlighted already because I, we already highlighted the features in the beginning. So when you bring back the process, it highlights those again. So all I need to do is click on redo. And it says it succeeded. Let's do a cut part render. 
and now you can see the center pockets are deeper now. So that's just a quick little rundown on how to use uh, SolidWorks Gibbs Cam transfer. Thanks for watching.